Lately, I've been feeling like I am slowly sinking into some sort of emotion that I haven't sunk into for a while. First, I was a little scared, but then I realized like we're, our lives are in seasons. They're in chapters and it's not all supposed to be happy and dance. Some sort of emotion casting over me. Practicing being a, more aware of my emotions and I became aware that this emotion was sinking up on me through awareness so just practicing checking in with your body checking in with your mind or going through these periods of silence where you can really hear yourself or journaling or that can be through breath work so there's or just walking so with me i've noticed that these emotions via walking and journaling everyone has their different way like don't try to develop these habits that other people say because your mind works for your mind so just try a bunch of different tasks for releasing emotions and then the one that clicks to you will stay as long as you like it so you just want to try all of them and then the one that sticks is just meant for you and the way that you operate for me it's walking secondary to that is journaling another thing i'm practicing is just being okay with the emotion a lot of times i try to stay tough and I go there a lot with myself to like these dark places and i allow myself to go deep to sat like when i'm feeling sad or when i'm feeling angry but there's almost like a blockage there that I'm not letting myself push through to like that extreme sadness, that extreme anger. So it's like I've been getting better at controlling it and I have been releasing them. But when they get to the more intensified versions of myself or of my past or of my thoughts or of my beliefs or whatever it is, it's like almost there's a blockage there. So I've been able to get to this high, this level of just being able to increase my ability to be aware of my emotions, control them, release them. But when they get tough, it's like I don't want to feel them and I get a little scared. So right now I'm just practicing letting myself get to like, just let myself get to a low place. There's been a good amount of like changes in my life and almost conflict, lack of clarity for that. I haven't found the exact source, but I guess like there's been confusing things in my life and happening between other living beings. So maybe that has been what's causing it. The best way for me to describe this feeling is almost like I can slowly feel the energy, a dark energy around me closing in, but it's almost like a feeling of not knowing who I am anymore or not caring or just like, what is the point? Make sure that I stay in awareness and also just let myself feel my emotions this time and also just work through it. it feels like a long-term journey that i'm about to be on but i feel like it definitely can resolve itself easily it's just um it's just like a random season that just happened and the main thing is to i would say pinpoint where it came from and then get clear on why i'm having those emotions and why these lessons are coming up and just allowing myself to be sad i think it's been a long time since i allowed myself to be sad and it's not a normal level of sad. It's almost like I can feel the energy like hugging me from behind, just not feeling of hope. And for me, I feel like one of my driving forces in life is like my perseverance, my hope, and my optimism. So I own that like that warm blanket of just like sinking into sadness is definitely bringing on old emotions and also some emotions that I never dealt with because I've always been very optimistic. And I'm trying not to, I'm trying to make sure that I keep being aware so I don't develop a different belief system. I wanted to let you know also, I met a guy from India and we were talking about prayers and incense, things like that. And he told me that whenever you light an incense, you want to make sure you never only, don't light one only and don't light three only. So if you're going to light incense, make sure it's at least two or four or more, never one alone or never three because one is for when someone dies and three he forgot why but don't light three either <laughs> so now i start to light two incense for when i'm doing my walks or a prayer or anything like that or meditation um yeah so now i just started lighting two so that's a tip for you if you light incense don't light one unless you're sending that out for the person for like a loved one that has passed so that's something i've been working on for a few years now i was like expression and feeling my emotions but one thing i do like to do is pray and so like i always say the toltec lineage did save my life and one of the authors um, is miguel 
Ruiz. And so one of his books is actually a prayer book. My friend reminded me of this book the other day and I was like, dude, I have that book. That book is so good. And it actually has a good amount of prayers. So I think a few things that make people happy, happier is real is being grateful. And so when you're grateful, you could be in the lowest places of life and realizing that you have, you're blessed, you're lucky, everything is working around you for you. And having that awareness of it and then being grateful for it, I think that helps a lot with emotional issues. And then there's also prayers for love, prayers for forgiveness, prayer for your body. And I think what I need to work on, I think one source of myself that may be causing this like blanket of this emotion maybe that I need to forgive and maybe that's like the threshold of that's blocking me because once I forgive I'll be acknowledging these emotions that I have and then I'll have to experience them so it's like me subconsciously trying not to experience them but I'll just read aloud this prayer for forgiveness maybe one of you all need to like forgive someone or forgive yourself so it's a Toltec prayer it says Today, Creator, grant me the courage and the will to forgive the people I love the most. Help me to forgive every injustice I feel in my mind and to love other people unconditionally. I know that the only way to heal all the pain in my heart is through forgiveness. Today, Creator, strengthen my will to forgive everyone who has hurt me, even if I believe that the offense is unforgivable. I know that forgiveness is an act of self-love. Help me to love myself so much that I forgive every offense. Let me choose forgiveness because I don't want to suffer every time I remembered the offense. Today, Creator, help me to heal all the guilt in my heart by accepting the forgiveness of everyone I have hurt in my life. Help me to sincerely recognize the mistakes I have made out of ignorance and give me the wisdom and determination to refrain from making the same mistakes. I know that love and forgiveness will transform every relationship in the most positive way. Thank you, Creator, for giving me the capacity to love and forgive Today I open my heart to love and forgiveness so that I can share my love without fear. Today I will enjoy a reunion with the people I love the most. Amen. So these, um, that was a good prayer, right? So these prayers are not like towards any one religion, nothing like that. They're very open. So you could change creator for the word God or whoever you believe in. I actually do think a lot of it has to do with me wanting to forgive. So it's not like I don't want to forgive. It's more like the subconscious block of it. Like still wanting to feel validated that I guess I'm wanting to, I guess it, maybe for maybe for other human, other people like wanting, wanting another person to know that what they did hurt you but not wanting to be vulnerable it's like a weird conundrum a lot of times like lately with this whole emotion thing i've been having like random weird dreams or random memories of things that people that happened to me like at an earlier age and it just like it stirs up this anger or confusion or denial and i shouldn't be in denial because i'm not the one who's wrong for these actions so yeah, it's just like a process. I think I'm gonna dive back into like trauma healing books and things like that. But as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm starting my course next week about the documentary filmmaking. So, oh my gosh, like watch me a week after I start that course. I'm, my videos are gonna be A1, I promise. I'll see you later, peace.